this is Lauren Toyota over here. And Hi, I'm Lauren. Gonna, I'm going to let you guys have your interview, and I'll come join you. Okay, in fine. Hey, Hi, gang. How are you? Lauren, I'm how Lauren. are you? I'm, uh, what a firm handshake yes. you've got. Is that good? Strong, Lauren. <laughs> let's, let's Lauren's walk. a strong woman. Let's walk a and strong talk. Canadian woman. <laughs> Thank you. Where you do you want me to sit? You can sit right here. I like your suit. Thank you. It's nice. I'm trying to get one of Ben's new... Little pocket squares? Maybe That's all I heard about it. So Ben, how are you? So they got new pocket squares. <laughs> ben, think... how, how's your life? But, but the pocket squares are looking good. Well, yours looks fantastic. I Thank wouldn't you. worry too much. Um, this is a pretty big moment for me right now. No, meeting why? Meeting you. Yeah? Uh, I get a few minutes here with you. I think the reason I got some time with you, I don't know if you knew this, but I, I, they forwarded a message I sent to my producer saying that I loved you more than my father, which I'm going to get in big crap for saying, <laughs> but that's how I landed this. Really? Yeah. You love me more than your father. Well, I, I'm enjoying that. I like that. How does he feel about it? I don't know. You Can you try and make him feel better? Because he's probably crying if he's going to watch this. Oh, uh, but he, But I love you a lot, equally to my father. I think there's something... No, no, no. Wait a minute. You said you love me more than your father. But I know he's going to be so upset. Well, I'm sorry, Dad. You know what I mean? <laughs> She'll come back to you one day, but right now she's all mine. I'm Regis's. See, this is the thing. When I, I read your book, and a lot of what you experience in this book and the stories yeah. of you meeting people is exactly what I'm experiencing now. Um, people who inspired your life, yeah. your career. And right. I have to say that you've inspired my career sure. here in television. And the thing you end each chapter with is what you took away from it all. So what should I take away from this encounter with Regis today? Well, let's do it, and then, then I'll <laughs> tell you at the end of it. Okay. You'll give me the, the hindsight after we're done. Yeah, well, sure, that's how it works. Okay, so when you were like a young boy and you said you wanted to be a singer, you wanted to be like Bing Crosby, yeah. and you also wanted to be in television. Right. What exactly did you like envision of yourself at that time? I totally didn't know. Honest to God, I just thought of it. Um, I just fantasized yeah. about it. But what in television could I do? You know, I wasn't a comedian, I wasn't a singer, I had no talent in any area. So I thought it would be impossible. Besides that, I was very shy and unconfident and would never have the guts to tell anybody, yes, I want to be on television because I was afraid they might laugh or think mm -hmm. it was impossible. Mm -hmm. So I kept my mouth shut and I shouldn't have. You know, I should have told everybody, this is what I want, this is what I want. Maybe it would have come a little easier and a little faster. A little sooner. Was it fame that you looked, that you sought out? No, no, no. Not I just, being I, famous. No, I was intrigued. Mm -hmm. Because I had listened to radio growing mm -hmm. up as a kid. That's all we had. And now here was television showing us the scenes that we were listening to on the radio and could only imagine. Yeah. And I thought it was a fantastic uh, thing to, to happen to uh, the country, television. Yeah. And I'd like to be a part of it. It makes me feel better, too, that you said you were shy and you lacked confidence. Because I was very shy when I was a kid, too. Right. And I kept it a secret just like you did. Exactly. I didn't tell anyone. Even my parents didn't know. When I said I was going to go work in television six years ago, they're like, television? Yeah. I didn't know you wanted to work in television. And that's <laughs> a tough part, telling your, your yeah. parents yeah. what you want to be. Because they're worried about you. They want you to, to succeed. And uh, not all of them know about television and how it works. And so... It's difficult for them to sometimes understand that their daughter is going to proceed in this business. But you're doing quite well. Your father must be happy. He's very Not proud. happy about me, but that's <laughs> the way it goes. No, he loves you too. He might say he loves you more than me. No, they're very proud though. That's good. How do I get to be in TV until I'm 80? I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. How do you do you're, that? You're on TV now, aren't I you? I know. Yeah. So how do I secure that? How do I make sure it happens? Well, you got to keep coming back every day and make them say, oh, isn't she adorable? <laughs> isn't she what? Isn't she smart? Isn't she funny? Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of a strain. Uh, you just can't come up here and fake your way through it. No. You really do have to get involved. You do interviews. I do. You do the news. I do some news, yeah. Yeah. So every day it's got to be the best of your ability. Keep them focused on you. Don't let them drift away. Well, what I admire about you is that you've been real from the very beginning, and I watched you as a kid growing up watching the TV with my mother. Uh -huh. um, and I think subconsciously wanted to be on TV by watching you be yourself on TV. You know, without knowing I wanted to be I on TV, just that, saw sure. somebody being who they were and feeling like sure. I had something to be, but they didn't know what it was. So what for you, what is the sort of most respected and admirable quality of a good TV host when you're watching TV? I think uh, their ability to uh, ask the, 
the unusual questions that nobody else is asking, and their ability to remain quiet and listen to what they're saying and expand on what they're saying. Just don't go to the next question until you're finished with that area, with their answer. And what can, what can we make out of that answer into something more special than just, oh, that's nice, and then move on to another. You know what I'm talking about. I do. Sure you do. Unfortunately, I'm not able to expand anymore because I only get a few minutes with Regis, but I cannot tell you how thrilled I am. Well, so thank you so much. Thank you very much, Lauren. I, I appreciate that. I, I feel like uh, I'm very proud of the way you feel about Regis. And just <laughs> tell your dad you love him now. I do love you, and Dad. I love and you I'm too, sorry. Dad. Thanks, Regis. Very much. Thank you. <laughs> you mind signing my book? Sure. Quickly? You're amazing. Well, yeah, that is, I think, how they gave me the time today. Because, because they saw that message that I nice? sent. So, <laughs> thank you so much. There you go. Finally, we're together and I loved it. The best to you and your dad. <laughs> thank you. Do you mind if we take one quick photo? And sure. then you're all Ben's, I promise. Oh, gotta sit around with Ben to listen to those, about those, those kerchiefs. I mean, okay, Ben, you made a little handkerchief. Three, two. <laughs> That'll Lauren and I thank look you. good, huh? We look pretty good. Kelly, Kelly can't live forever, you know. <laughs> Gotta look around for the young ones. You remember. I will.